Hey, it's Greg, and we're back with another digital health review. Today we're looking at sleep tracking on Android Wear, Google's smartwatch platform. Android Wear has been around for some time now, although it seems Google is neglecting the platform. Unlike their excellent Pixel phones, there's no Pixel watch to compete with the Apple Watch. Apple is investing a lot more into perfecting the Apple Watch, although you have to be an iPhone user to take advantage of that platform. The advantage for Android users is that you can spend a lot less for a capable smartwatch. I went on eBay and purchased my Moto 360 Sport new for less than $100. You could do even better with a used watch. To track sleep with Android Wear, you'll need to purchase the app Sleep as Android. It comes with a 14-day free trial, but after that you'll need to purchase the $3.99 Sleep as Android Unlock app to keep using all the features with Android Wear. The app is really nerdy and it has hundreds of features. We're not gonna go into all of those in this review. We're just gonna focus on the few that I think are most important. The main feature I wanna look at is the sleep tracking feature. From the home screen, press the moon button on the lower right hand corner. This will start the sleep tracking feature and if your watch is set up, it will automatically connect to the Android Wear system. You can also launch sleep tracking directly from Android Wear by finding the sleep tracking app in the applications menu. Or you can long press on the app icon and hit sleep tracking. When you're finished sleeping, you can stop tracking directly from the watch, or you can use the app, slide the stop tracking slider to the right. On the phone, you'll immediately see some stats about your sleep, as well as some options to rate your sleep and add notes. This is a great way to reflect on the night and add any notes like alcohol consumption for the previous evening. If you click on the stats tab, you can take a detailed look at statistics like average duration, efficiency, and your average sleep rating. On the graphs tab, you can dive deeper into the motion graphics for each night, and you can even see when you enter and exit each sleep phase. If you head over to the Google Fit app, you can see the amount of time you spend asleep each night in comparison to the day's activities, but there's really not much else you could find in the Google Fit app. There's one other feature I wanna talk about, and that's the smart alarm clock. In the settings for each alarm, you can find something called Smart Period. If you have to use an alarm clock, this is definitely the way to go, as you'll wake up feeling a lot less tired than you would with a regular alarm clock. However, it's still best to wake up naturally, so do that as often as possible. One thing to note about Sleep as Android is that it uses a lot of battery power. So, in the hour or so before bed, I recommend topping off the battery on watch, and when you're ready to go to sleep, Plug the phone in so that it charges overnight. This way you don't miss out on any sleep tracking because either the phone or the watch shut off. So that concludes my sleep tracking review on Android Wear. I've got something similar in the works for the Apple Watch, so stay tuned. In the meantime, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.